Now we're going to move on to size integrated direct reading instruments. These include photometers that scale with mass concentration, surface area monitors, and number counting devices. These direct reading devices are more commonly used in industrial hygiene profession to supplement personal filter measurements. This animation depicts the operating principle of an aerosol photometer. Air is sampled through an inlet from the environment. Part of this air is passed through a filter and used as sheath air to protect the optics. The remaining air with particles passes through a sensing zone. The sensing zone is illuminated with light from a laser diode focused with lenses. The light passing directly through the instrument is prevented from bouncing back into the sensing zone with a light stop. Particles in the sensing zone scatter light, which is detected with a photomultiplier tube. If we take a closer look, we can see that the photo photomultiplier tube responds to the light scattered by an assembly of particles. When there is a high concentration, more light is scattered, and when there is less, lower concentration, less light is scattered. Aerosol photometers provide output that is proportional to mass concentration. The units reported by these instruments are either milligrams per meter cubed or micrograms per meter cubed. They work over a size range roughly 500 nanometers or 0.5 micrometers to 10 micrometers. Smaller particles don't scatter enough light to be seen and larger particles are difficult to aspirate into the inlet. The calibration is sensitive to optical properties and that's a major drawback of these devices. Many of them have a filter in them so that you can collect a filter at the same time as you are getting the real-time information off of the display. Examples of these devices include the TSI Dust Tract or a PDR, Personal Data RAM 1500 from Thermo Scientific. This animation depicts the operating principle of a condensation particle counter. This device is extremely useful for detecting nanoparticle concentrations in the workplace, such as finding a leak in an enclosure. Particle concentrations are low where there is no leak, but high where there is a leak. Taking a look inside the device, particles are pulled into an inlet. A portion of those particles are passed through to a detection region. This detection region is similar to a photometer in that scattered light is detected. However, the light scattered by nanoparticles is so small that it is undetectable with a photomultiplier tube. For this reason, the condensation particle counter has two additional components, a saturator held at high temperature and a condenser held at low temperature. These two components cause the particle to grow sufficiently large to scatter light and be counted in the optical section. If we look at a single particle moving through the system, the particle is dry when entering the inlet. It stays the same size as it passes through the saturator, but the air becomes saturated with a working fluid, usually water or alcohol, that comes from a wetted wick within the saturator. This working fluid then condenses onto the particle, causing it to grow as it moves through the condenser. These particles are then easily counted in the optics region. Condensation particle counters are available that provide particle number concentration in units of particles per centimeter cubed. These numbers are associated with particle sizes smaller than one micrometer. There are personal versions that are becoming available at this time However, they're not in widespread use and they're quite expensive at this time, upwards of $15,000 or more. 
There are different versions that are on the market from TSI Incorporated, for instance. There's a P-Track. Cost is around $7,000. Has a lower size range of 20 nanometers and a maximum concentration of 500,000 particles per centimeter cubed. There's also a CPC 3007. We've used that as a workhorse in our laboratory for doing exposure assessments. The cost of that is around $9,000, has a lower size range of 10 nanometers, and a maximum concentration of 100,000 particles per centimeter cubed. Electrical diffusion classifiers have recently become available in personal models for the measurement of sub-micrometer aerosols. Here I show the schematic diagram for the disk mini. Aerosol enters the inlet and particles are electrically charged. Ions in the air are removed by an induction stage. Then the smallest particles deposit onto diffusion screens and the remaining particles deposit on a backup filter. The particle number, lung, deposited surface area, and mean diameter are estimated from the electrical charge that drains from the diffusion and filter stages. Direct reading instruments provide a lot of data, such as mass and number concentration by time. These instruments can be used in different ways, such as summarized through descriptive statistics. Often these data are used to associate peak exposures with certain worker process or activities. Although not used for compliance purposes, these instruments can provide critical information for making sound decisions on how best to control workplace aerosol concentrations.